name is Angie. Welcome to Guts and Guns. I want everybody to go ahead and give me some like poses. I can't see anybody, so this is for your own benefit. Pose for yourself. And those of you that have been doing some of the classes should be uh, a little more toned, hopefully. Um, if you And so many of you have been consistent. It's been really awesome. So today, resistance bands and dumbbells. Uh, we're going to get going. I appreciate you guys joining me uh, a couple days ago for the uh, Corona Cuts. I'm going to keep that format uh, right now with the new regulations that have come out. I'm not sure what it means for my schedule uh, for the month of June, but I will keep you all posted as I don't know where I'm going to be, uh, regardless of if the gym is open or not. Um, I'm totally posing. Yay, come on, Brittany, I love that. Um, so let's get moving, guys. Give me some shoulder rolls and reverse those shoulder rolls. And then open up the chest right here and push it back. Push it back, push it back, push it back, push it back. Fantastic. And then rotate side to side with me. Lift a heel. You don't ever want to keep your feet down because it's just too much torque on the knees. Pay attention to the surface that you're on. As we do some metabolic drills that give you options for bouncing, watch and listen to your knees and low back. If, uh, hands on the thighs. If you're on carpeting, again, Tennis shoes should be worn if you're going to do any kind of bouncing. All right, all the way up. Fantastic. From here, I want you to take it to hinges, hands on the hips, forward and back, four and three and two and one. Fantastic. We're taking it down all fours from here, hand to the head. Rotate open for five, four, three, two, one, switch, and five, four, three, two, one. We're going to take the hands to the behind the back, open up the chest, sit back, hips to heels. Open one, two and sit back one more time. Press one, two, sit back. Now reach, reach. Those of you that have just had knee surgery, don't do this. Sit back, reach, reach. Open that chest. You can do this standing. And one more time, reach, reach. And right here, fantastic. We're gonna take it down to a plank. And then from the plank, alternate those heels for a little walk. From the walk, take it down to your belly, hands under the shoulders, half press ups for four, three, two, one, and then full extension all the way up, shoulders roll down and back and away from your ears. And a nice breath. Perfect. From here, we're going to go to that kneeling position, especially as we handle tubes. I want you all to be very, very mindful, well, dumbbells or tubing or resistance bands of the wrist movement. Those of us, uh, Vicki, uh, with a little bit of carpal tunnels and weaker uh, wrists, you got to really watch it. Try to keep that straight plane. Don't allow this and this to occur, okay? So let's warm them up. Fingertips toward the knees, forward and back. You can do this also against uh, the wall if you don't want to get down on your knees, guys. All right. And then flip the palms up, fingers face each other, and we're going to go side to side. Really try to get mobility, get them warmed up, and come on back. Let's take it up to standing. We're going to go ahead and do a three one-minute metabolics. It's, we're going to start with a jack, and we're going to go out and then in for a demi-squat. We've done this a few times before. You determine if you want impact or not. Your choice, on your mark, get set, and let's go. Out in, out in, keep going, out in, out in, out in, out in, 
count in. Options, remember low impact is always an amazing option. Just make sure you do a lot more arm driving, open and closing those hands to drive muscle and blood to start pumping. Out in, out in, out in, out in. After this drill, we're gonna take it down to a hand plank and do some posterior core upper body work to get everything fired, everything in a frenzy for some muscle building. A few more seconds. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one, take it down. From here, guys, get in that hand plank position. Hand plank position or knee. You can do this from the knees, definitely. We're going to row, extend, reach behind, extend, row, replace, and switch. Can be done from knees. Let's go. Row. Extend, behind, extend, row, replace. Row, extend, behind the back, 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 extend, row, replace. Row, extend, behind, extend, row, replace. Row, extend, reach behind, extend, row, replace. This. You want to go ahead and get standing again, and we're going to do your favorite pushes. So think jog or march, and let's go. Jog or march, I want you to push. So you've got little pulses pushing forward, just below shoulder height. Push. We're not moving those wrists. Chest, shoulders, push. Jog or march. We're gonna push the hands back now. Push back, 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 back. Keep going, don't let the shoulders come up. Keep them depressed, push back. Nice. Push down, down, down. And then push palms up. Come on guys. Now circles, circles. Marching or jogging or butt kicking. Any way you want it, come on. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop it, shake it out. All right, here we go. Grab your resistance bands. We're gonna go down to the floor to begin with with your resistance band. Remember, tubing or flat. We're gonna start with some push-ups. Why do you need the band to do push-ups? Trust me, put it right underneath your shoulder blades. Start from your knees. Start from your knees. Go down to your belly. Make sure it's extended. I've got my thumb locked under and then my palm is on top of the band. You want it tight enough so that there's no slack when you get to the bottom of this push-up. Ready? And let's go. Do this from your knees, keeping your head level. Don't drop that head. Or if you want to take it to that straight full body, do so. You got 30 seconds. Yes. Woo! 
This is fun. Come on. Great. Where are your hands positioned? If you've done a few from your knees, maybe take a few to full just to try it. Remember, belly pulled up and in. Anything that doesn't feel right, don't do it. All right, sit it back. Next one. <laughs> Next one, we're going to go ahead and stand. Band stays in the same position. We're going to try a single leg chest press. What does that mean? Make this tight. Make this tight. You're going to push out as you keep that knee up. That's a more advanced option, but you gotta get tenseness in this band, get some resistance. Ready? And go. Press. Where are we breathing? What do our wrists look like? We're exhaling as we push forward. So that's elbows stay right about shoulder height. Palms are down. Notice my wrists are not broken. They're straight plane from my knuckle Back to my elbow, press, press. We're gonna switch in just a second. Not really, now switch, other knee up. Exhale, perfect T, exhale. Abdominals in, that single leg balance provides a core challenge for us. Exhale. Exhale, exhale. We're gonna do a combination of bands and dumbbells to completely fatigue every upper body muscle we have. Excellent. Next one, we're gonna take the bands to the front of the body and do retracts. So it's predominantly for the upper back. Get your band in front and you wanna pull it back, back. If I had a piece of paper, in the middle of my shoulder, or the middle of my back, I'm trying to pinch that shoulder, those shoulder blades. Now get that mind connected with the muscles that you're working and think about it. Really pinch that paper. Come on guys, a few more, a few more, five, four, three, two, one, okay back, next one. Take your band, put it on the ground. So it's gonna be the same foot. So I've got my band on the ground. For example, I'm gonna be using right arm, right foot. You're gonna to have to do a few reps just to feel like, okay, what is enough tension? These are single arm rows. If you've got dumbbells, you're doing this with one dumbbell. We're gonna keep the elbow close to the rib cage and pull it back. It's not tight enough if you've got slack at this point when you come back. It needs to be tension the whole time. Ready? And go. And we're rowing, rowing, row. Elbow stays close to the rib cage. So I need to choke up a little bit more because it needs to be full tension. Keep your shoulders squared, not pulling back either way. Back heel lifted. Exhale. Exhale. Remember, don't bend those wrists. If you do anything today correctly, really focus on the wrist positioning at all times. Exhale. You want to pull that shoulder blade to the middle of your back. We're almost there. Three, two, one, tight, switch legs, switch arms. And let's go, pull it back. Takes a few to get the right amount and elbow close. Once you get the row mechanism going and the resistance on that band, then you can really start to think, okay, what am I working? What do I feel? It should be that. Same side, obviously. Shoulder, mid-back, upper back. Come on. Perfect form always. 
You've got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that band. And we're gonna go overhead. Single arm. So you can do this from your knees as well if you want. I like doing things from knees or even seated because it takes a lot more concentration um, on the body part that you're working. So here or here or standing. We're gonna have one arm straight up, the other arm is gonna pull down. You're gonna keep tension the whole time. Go, go, down. This, the extended arm overhead, keep it mostly straight. Mostly straight. You're gonna feel tension there too. Exhale. Where are your shoulder blades? They're pushed down. Keep your traps depressed. Come on, exhale. I said that one time during a class, and I said, keep your traps depressed. And she was like, okay, and she looked at her shoulder. She's like, you're good for nothing. You can't do anything. You'll never succeed. Switch. So she was actively trying to depress her lats verbally. I don't think it worked. We've switched arms. Exhale, what are we working? Whoo! Shoulders, yes. We've got the entire shoulder girdle firing now. Mm, anterior, medial, and posterior delt. You've got eight seconds. Seven, six, keep it tight. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna stand. We're gonna stand. And from here, standing, we're gonna crisscross. Okay, so crisscross, shoulders up and roll them back. You can do single arm or both of them. Or again, look at your wrists. Where are the wrists? They're not bent. And let's go. One minute, a full 60 seconds here before we head to the dumbbells. Let's do it. Woo! So push those shoulders down. Pretend that someone, maybe me, is behind you pushing down on your shoulders as you pull up. Upright row, you can stick to one arm and alternate, one and one, or both together. Are your abdominals pulled in? Most of us have the videos turned off, and that's great. That's when you can even just exercise in your sports bra, or Jerry, you know, tuck your shirt into your shorts, to force you to be more cognizant of your abdominal positioning. Okay, work your abdominals the way you want to maintain that muscle. So if they're not held in, contracted, breathing correctly, you're just gonna make puppy strong muscles. Hold and release. Woo. All right, these we're gonna do predominantly by reps. Get your dumbbells. Those arms should be really, really warm right now. We're gonna do a five, five, five ladder with biceps and those triceps. Here's what it's gonna look like so you know what to get. I'm going a little heavy. We'll see how long I can do it. We're gonna start with biceps. One arm is gonna stay at 90 degrees. The other arm is gonna do five reps. Then we switch the other arm at 90, the other arm five reps. After that, then both five reps. Then we're gonna do the same with four, three, two, and one. All right? So gird up your loins here, guys. All right, you've gotta keep this strictly at 90. Don't let that elbow slide. Ready? And one. And at the top, take that dumbbell to the outside of your shoulder. Two. Uh, that's two, because the first one didn't count. Three. Four, dumbbell to the outside of that shoulder. Five. That one goes to 90. The other arm descends and out comes up. First one doesn't count. And five, four, three, two, one, both of them. Five, let the fingers breathe. Four, 
three, take them to the outside of the shoulder, two, and one. Go into four, one. Exhale, two, three, four. Switch, four, three, two, one. Both of them four, one. Fingers breathe, two, three, four. Going to three. Oh, one, two, smile. Three, switch. If you picked a heavy enough weight, you should definitely be feeling it right now. Three, both of them three. One, two, three. Down to twos. One, outer head there. Two, switch. One, two, both of them two. Shh. Shh. Ah. One each. One, hold it at the top. Back to 90, other one. Hold it at the top. Back to 90, both of them. Hold it at the top. And lower. Huh. Oh my goodness. So if you aren't feeling like your arms are like, eh, help me, then you didn't have enough weight. Next time, go heavier. Turn some doorknobs. All right. We're going to do the same with triceps, but from a kickback position. I would say go lighter to begin with than what you did with biceps. Typically, if we get too heavy with triceps, here's what's gonna happen. We don't want that. <sighs> this is gonna sink, okay? Whew. Pull those bellies in. Hinge, hinge, shoulders back, and we're gonna go straight. So one arm is straight, and then we're gonna go five, five, four, head straight ahead, two, two, and one. That arm is straight, other arm, Five, four, small pulses, three, two, one, both straight, in to 90, out five, four, three, 90 degrees only, two, one, one arm is straight, and we're gonna go four, three, two, one, switch, other arm straight, four pulses, three, two, one, both of them, four, three, two, one, ow, straight, one arm is three, two, one, switch, three, two, one, both arms, 90, three, two, one, ah, two, one, Two, switch. One, two, both of them. One, two, go straight. And pulse one, switch. Pulse one, and then hold them both out. One, out. Ah. <laughs> Check it down, right here. Taking it down. We're gonna do half Turkish get-ups. Get a smaller weight if you want. If you've done Turkish get-ups or halves, um, then get a heavier dumbbell. Form. If you don't wanna use weight, just do it alone. It's fine, it'll be great for you as well. Maybe get a tennis shoe and put it in that hand. Uh, something. We're gonna go down. Your right foot is flat. Your left leg is out at a 45 degree angle. Your left arm is parallel and in the same direction as that left foot. So left arm, left leg are parallel 45s. The other arm is straight up. It could not be locked out anymore. You want it totally locked out. What you're going to do is you're gonna take it up to your left elbow. You have gotta keep your eyes on this dumbbell the whole time. So you're gonna slide up to the left elbow and you turn to the left, that's how you slide up. You do not go straight up. You go toward that elbow and arm and that leg at 45. So here to elbow, notice my arm is extended. From here, I'm gonna post up to my left hand and I'm still looking at that and my shoulder is really up and extended. Then I'm gonna go back to my elbow and
and down all the way shoulder to the floor. Keep that like that. We're gonna go 12 on each side. Break when you need to, slow it down if you need to. Ready, and elbow, hand, elbow, down. Elbow, hand, elbow, down all the way. Elbow, hand, push it up, get all the way up. Elbow, down, that's three. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's four. Elbow, hand, real extended, elbow, down, that's five. Elbow, hand, look up, that's six. You can still smile, I think. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's eight. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's nine. Is your arm straight? Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's nine. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's 10. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's 11. Elbow, hand, that's 10. This is 11, isn't it? <sighs> Last one. <sighs> down, awesome. Switch. Yeah. <laughs> Let me face this way. So your left foot is flat. Right leg, right arm out at 45. Left arm is holding. First one's a practice. Lock it out, pack that shoulder. Elbow, hand, and it's really chest up, heart forward. And then elbow, down. Let's go. Elbow, hand, elbow, down. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's two. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's three. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's four. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's five. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's six. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's seven. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's eight. Elbow, how's your form? Hand, elbow, down, that's nine. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's 10. Elbow, hand, elbow, down, that's 11. Elbow, hand, and you know we've gotta do an extra one here. <sighs> Woo! Elbow, hand, and down. Last one, elbow, hand, elbow, down. Take that, the hands behind the head for support, legs up, and I want you to give me kind of that Venus fly trap. It's a combination reverse crunch with a shoulder lift. My head and chin are not moving. My shoulders lift, but my head and chin are not moving. 10, exhale, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Do it again. Ten, nine, exhale. Eight, seven, shoulders lift every time. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring one knee into the chest. Other leg hovers, get that back flat, and pull and press, pull and press. Hold isometri isometrically, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch and hold, 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 hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Over under the belly, press up. We're not done. Get your handle tubing or your uh, resistance band again. We're not done. We're not done. Step on it. Step on it. And start curling. All right, we're gonna curl forward and side. 
forward and side. You can do it with dumbbells, forward and side. Watch those wrists. Go, go, go. 15, 14, and 13, and 12, and 11. Smile, 10, come on. Nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now, quickly, put that mat, I'm sorry, take that band up in your right hand. Band is in your right hand, your left hand comes behind you. Pull down with that left hand. Right elbow next to your ear. So left hand is straight and engaged. Tricep, straight up guys. You've got 15, 14, keep that left arm straight, 13, 12, elbow close to the ear, 11, 10, nine, eight, exhale, seven, six, five, push four, three, two, one, <sighs> switch, handle in your left hand, reach behind on your right, straighten that right arm, both arms have already worked, so they're gonna be a little more fatigued than the other side. Ah! Right arm straight, left arm extending. Come on, one, two, three, four. Breathing, tight abdominals, five. Head level, six. Don't push that head forward. What am I at? Eight, maybe? No. <laughs> 10. Exhale, 11. Straight arm in the back, 12. 13, 14, 15! Are we done? No. Come on down. We got a finisher. Our finisher is gonna be an elbow plank mountain climber. One minute. Elbow plank mountain climber. Are you ready? I say yes. And go. Keep it low. Don't clasp hands. Hips low. I'm gonna add a twist. Hips as low as they can get to keep, just to have clearance with the floor. Hips rotating if you want for that twisting piston. 30 left. We got this. Oh. How are you doing? Yeah. Behind your back. Lift up. Slow your breathing down. Hands in front. Extend. Whew. Shake them out, one hand up. Bend that elbow behind you. Switch. Bend that elbow behind you. Fabulous. On your belly. Full extension up, whatever that means for you. Shoulders away from your ears. Big breath in. And exhale. And again. And exhale. We're gonna sit it back, but we're gonna take one arm underneath, shoot it through, and then take the, whatever arm is going under, put that temple toward the ground as you sit the hips back to the heels. 
Other arm reaches above. Inhale and exhale. And let's switch. Is it back? Inhale and exhale. Awesome. Up to all fours. From here, come on up. Either hands to the hips, pressing the chest and opening it, or to the heels. You choose. Open up and hold and breathe. And then hands to the hips. Transition up. Hands on the thighs. Wow. Wow, guys. Next time, we're going to do the 5-5-5 five, five, five ladder. Five down to ones, and then we're going to reverse it ones up to five. So, you're awesome. See you tomorrow for hit.